What you go through every day, what your feelings are every day, what your girlfriends tell you every day, what's going on in their lives, you got to share that. Um, you know, share any secrets that shouldn't no. be shared, but I hope you have enough sense to know that if, if one of your friends tells you something that puts them in danger, right. that you will find a way to tell somebody. Is that because so if someone's being assaulted at home or something like that, it's not a matter of embarrassed anymore. That's right. It's not it's a matter safe. of being a snitch. And it's, it, right, and we don't even do the snitch thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. We could also give, like, um, some of the... Speak up, baby. We could also give, like, reasons of how to protect yourself or how to, like, tell another adult that you're in trouble. So you were talking about strategies. Yes. Great. You, that's your little thing. Anybody else? So you're going to research what? Suicide. Okay, you're gonna. But what about suicide? Suicide's a huge thing. What did you say? Um, I like, want to. I want you to remember what you talked to us about just now. Reasons <coughs> why or like how many like people do. You're looking for and statistics. Like, like, so like stories behind it. Awesome, good girl. Um, and you're going to research what? The strategies that can help someone stand up. Okay, good. What do you got? Let's talk it out. Keep going. This is what we do. Finding the strategies to, to how to prevent, um, how to prevent bullying or how to stand up bullying. What have you come up with so far? Um, I already found three websites and they actually have a lot of information that you can get out of them. I found a website and then um, it gives you, it gives like ways to like the kids feel safe around you and like talk about things that's going on in their surroundings and if they um, need to like talk out then they should and they're safe too. One project. So let's brainstorm that out. What do we need to do? Research. Okay. How are we going to go about that? Like different websites and like different like you know search. I mean, like, yeah, different websites and stuff, and like, search up the same thing, but go to different websites get to different see perspective. and get different. I like that. Good job. Good job. All right. So you got the same idea? Get busy, guys. We're running daylight. Um, use weapons for suicide wow. or firearms. Finding the strategies to how to prevent. Um, States, Massachusetts, where? What parameters? So, US. Yeah, US. in the U.S. Okay, so make sure that you can pull those numbers out. Those rules will change because I expect everybody to step up. This is successful. There's no reason we can't come up with PSA. Someone will. Um, I'm trying to find ways to like help kids like come out and like talk about attempted suicide. Attempted suicide is when you try to hurt yourself, but you can't find yourself to come to do it. It's not really that fair for bullying to keep going in the society that we're in right now because like bullying could get people, you know, they could hurt themselves or other people. So, you know, 
it, it would rather be a better idea for people to stand by non-bullying. So, you know, it's there's kids now that just get bullied for their appearance. And it's really not, it's not fair at all. Okay. Or something like that. It's not a matter of embarrassed anymore. That's right. It's, it's not it's a matter safe. of being a snitch. And it's, it, right, and we probably do the snitch. Yeah. I had a conversation with Ms. Lassiter in the back, and I'm just greatly and appreciated to be a part of this project. And I want to thank Clint Port for putting me in into this project as Eric. And just to explain a little bit about the character, um, it's a ca campaign about heroin overdose. And I think it's a great, great project. A lot of times, um, the community, especially the African American and Latino community, is overlooked when it comes to heroin overdose. And, you know, since your government wants to deem it as an epidemic because you have uh, people that don't look like us that are overdosing, I'm just glad that um, Clint was able to write a script um, for Betty Laws and Incorporated Betty Laws Fight Back so we can actually share our story with you and share it with the community. So I'm, I'm, I'm appreciated to, um, to be handpicked by Nathaniel and Clint to, to be in this project. someone was going to commit suicide, they've come to the end of the line. How would you help them understand this is not the right path? And you have way more to life and don't just let like little words hurt you. And like you have your mom, like her life will be over if you were to kill yourself. Or you're, like your family, they will be very sad because you're not in, like, you're not part of the family and it's just not a good thing to do. Exactly. I understand. It's difficult. And I think children have to learn to reach out. You agree with that. But who do you reach out to? Um, the same Your thing. mother the same thing or uh, like a teacher. Yeah. Right, absolutely. Thank you. Someone that they're really close to or like if they feel like there's no one to talk to but they want to tell somebody but like they don't know if they can trust them. Like write a letter but anonymously. Like if I was feeling as if I wanted to commit suicide if I was being bullied and I wanted to tell Miss Pierce but I wasn't sure I, I was like I was like she was a trustable person like or she was trustworthy I could write a letter about it right. but anonymous and before she gets into work in the morning I'll, I'll put it on her desk or slide it so you're reaching out to an adult you're reaching out to your teacher yes, because you have thoughts of suicide and you've reached out to your one. sister I'm to your teacher direction you're approaching that from? Um, you can almost break that down, no? Does it show you different ways to approach that? Like, strategies as far as 
how to deal with it personally, whether you should tell an adult, is it, does it give you different levels or different parameters that you can operate in? Um, yeah. Explore deeper, good girl. Like, I think would be what would be helpful is like look, like read it, and then like the facts that like really like catch your attention and then like really blow you blow your mind are the facts that you write down, and then like and then after you write all of those down, like then you can put them into the word document, mm -hmm. and we'll all write a summary of our research in the word document. And then after we all have our summaries, take all of our summaries and put them together. And then there's like a whole essay. <laughs> Telling the bully stop or ignoring them. Another one is um, joke or agree with the bully. Some kids are naturally funny, so they could um, joke around and help them not get bullied by the bully. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Something about that.